What's up everybody, this is Teacher Ivan from Next Gen Academy. Our goal in this channel is to help you achieve your highest potential and to help you understand subjects in the easiest and the most efficient way. If you'd like to get more tips and tricks on how to achieve A star in your IGCSE, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel. Lastly, if you need any help in your studies, you can always head on to our website, link in the below or our Instagram Drop us a DM and we'll be able to help you. Enjoy this video and I wish you all the best. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna be discussing this May, June, 2021, paper one three. Okay, so get ready, loosen up your body, Okay, relax, no stress, and let's do this paper together. Okay, first question. Find the possible values of the constant. Ah, <laughs> hold on a minute. Okay, I'm just going to continue. <laughs> technical error, technical error. Okay, find the possible values of the constant k such that the equation kx squared plus 4kx plus 3k plus 1 equals to 0 has two different real roots. Okay, keyword, two different real roots. If you compare the previous one, right? The previous paper, okay, you all remember, it says has real roots. Okay, has two different real roots. The symbol is b squared minus 4ac more than 0. Okay, not more than equals, uh, more than 0. Okay, but don't worry. Uh, the symbol wise, I think if you all get it wrong, if you all put an equal sign, um, they never specify exactly in the mark scheme, but uh, I, I don't think it will be like many marks. Uh. Most also is at one mark only. Okay, but I think um, they'll probably be quite lenient. If lenient marker, they'll give you the marks. Okay, so let's use this. A, B, C. Let's fit it in. So it'll be 4K squared minus 4AC. Wait, sorry. 3K plus what? More than 0. Okay, so you need to fit into this formula first. 16K squared minus 12k square minus 4k more than 0 and then um, let's simplify it 4k square minus 4k more than 0 divide the whole equation by 4 k square minus k more than 0 k k minus 1 more than 0 okay then you'll get your roots k equals to 0 and k equals to 1 Draw it out. Okay, if it's on top, then it's here and here. Put your roots 0, 1. Therefore, your region will be k less than 0 and k more than 1. Okay, four mark question. Four mark question. Any issue? Okay, so you just need to remember two different real roots. Uh, has equal roots, no real roots. Okay, or it's using your b square minus 4ac. Alright, let's go to the second one. 2a. Find b, y, dx for x square e3x. So you just need to differentiate it. This will be using your product rule. So u equals to x square, v equals to e. 3x u prime equals to 2x v prime equals to 3e 3x okay so dy over dx will be equals to x square 3e 3x plus 2x e 3x okay just use your product rule be careful uh, when you all uh, differentiate all of this. This is a pretty simple question, so you don't want to lose your marks here. All right. Yeah, if I 
if I uh, factorize out E3X, eh, also can. simplify it. Uh, also can. You reach until this line already, you, you get the full marks already. Eh? Okay. Uh, okay. Next one. dy dx for 3x squared plus 4 to the power of 1 over 3. This is using chain rule. Okay, chain rule. You will get equals to differentiate outside first, then differentiate inside. So 3x squared will become 6x and multiply it outside. Your bracket remains and your power negative 2 over 3. Let's simplify it. 6x, okay, 6x divided by 3, you get 2x, and you see here, 3x squared plus 4, negative 2 over 3. Right, 2 mark question, 2 mark question. Okay, then the second one, hence. Okay, Ethan's favorite word, hence, find integrate 0 to 2x, 3x squared plus 4 to the power of negative 2 over 3 dx. Okay, how do we do this? So if hence question, normally we have to refer to the previous one. As we look here, 2x, when we differentiate the, the previous one, we get 2x, 3x squared plus 4 to the power of negative 2 over 3. So when we reverse the process, Okay, when we reverse the process, this is when you integrate it. Okay, so how I like to do it, I always write the original one first. Okay, integrate 2x, 3x squared plus 4, negative 2 over 3 dx. Then you go back to the original one. 3x squared plus 4, 1 over 4. Okay, what is extra? from the question that they, they want from you. Um, okay, we got to move the 2 over to the... Uh, okay, I don't want to say move over, but we got to divide 2 to the entire equation. Okay, so you will get integrate x, 3x squared plus 4, negative 2 over 3 dx, and you get 1 over 2. Okay, I also want to put my definite integral. You, yeah, you can separate it or you can... Just write it all together. So from 0 to 2. Okay, I want to do from 0 to 2. Then here, 3x squared plus 4. Uh, power in my bed. Uh, there's some typo here. It's 1 over power 1 over 3, uh, not 1 over 4. 1 over 3 from 0 to 2. Okay, make sure your double, triple check. Uh. Okay, so let's do definite integral for this. Don't skip the steps. Don't just type into the calculator. Okay, make sure you show you're working. All right, make sure you show you're working. So half three times two square plus four to the power of one over three minus three times zero square plus four one over three. Okay, zero, hey. oh, okay, done already. Half, three times two squared plus four, you get 16 to the power of one over three minus four to the power of one over three. Use your calculator to type this and you will get 0 0.466. Okay, this is a three mark question. Any issue here? Okay, this integration, Anna, just need to reverse the process because you can't integrate this x and 3x squared plus 4 to the power of negative 2 over 3 as of now, okay, in your IG, IG syllabus. All right, let's move on to the next one. Solve the equation cosec Cosecant square theta plus 2 cot square theta equals to 2 cot theta plus 9, where theta is in radians and your domain of the angle is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay, so 
let's solve or let's simplify the equation first. We got cosecant square, we got cotangent square, and the right hand side also cot cotangent. So you don't want so many trigo right in one equation. So normally, what we want to do, if you see cosecant square and cotangent square, the relationship is from the trigo identity. All right, you all can refer back to the to the front. Cosecant square can be written as cotangent square theta plus one plus two cot square theta equals to two cot theta plus nine. Join it together. Three cotangent square theta minus two cot theta minus eight equals to zero. Okay, this is a quadratic equation. You can use the let u or you don't want also can if you are familiar with it already. So I can just write it as three cot theta plus four um cot theta minus two equals zero. Okay, to be honest, right now, right, you don't have to use your butterfly method and all, but you just need to present it. So use your calculator to your advantage already. Okay, because you will be chasing after time. Uh, so just type three, negative two, negative eight into your calculator, which I think most of you are, are doing it, but make sure you all present it properly. Okay, show all this bracket, bracket and all. Don't straight away jump into the, the answer. Okay, so now let's find the, the roots here. Okay, your solution here. So cot theta will be equals to negative four over three. Okay, because this time I need to use my ASTC later. So I just leave some space. Huh? So the second equation will be cot theta equals to two. Cotangent, I can write it to tangent. So tangent theta, we inverse it, will be negative three over four. This one tangent theta equals to one over two. Okay, let's solve one at a time so it won't be so confusing. Okay, so follow our ASTC method. Find my base angle first. When you find your base angle, we want it in uh, degree form also. Eh, sorry, in radian form. So shift tangent 3 over 4, you will get 0 0.644. Okay, I also wrote the angle at the bottom so that it's clear for y'all. This is actually 36.9 degrees. All right, let's look back at the question. What do we want for the, the domain of your angle? From negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, right? Negative pi over 2 is how much? Negative 90 degrees until 90 degrees. Okay, and theta, right? They want it in theta. Your angle is already in theta. So if you were to draw on the ASTC graph, right? It is actually just from here to here. So you only need to consider your first quadrant and your fourth quadrant. Understand the logic here? Okay, because here is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Then here is 0. Same thing for here also. Okay, but I know some of you, if you are unsure, you all can go and calculate the, the ASTC or, or the graph, okay, every quadrant. But make sure you all check whether the angle, it falls within the negative pi over two to pi over two or not. Okay, so this will be the most efficient method to do because next time when you all go to college, if you all do your A-levels, you all do your pre u and you come across this tree goal, you all will solve something even more complex, I would say, but it will be similar on the, the steps of this. Okay, so let's solve for this left-hand side one first. Negative, right? Negative tangent. So negative tangent, ASTC, supposedly is second and fourth quadrant, but because second quadrant is out of the region, so we just need to put in the fourth, fourth one. Understand? So how do we find this angle here? Okay, how do we find this angle here? This theta will be, because this is going to the negative side, right? So it's negative 0 
four. Okay, negative zero point six four four. What about the other side? Okay, what about the other side? Okay, this one also same thing. Negative pi over two to pi over two, positive half, right? Positive one over two. So it will be in the first quadrant. Here is alpha. Okay, here is alpha. So what will you get? We come for the base angle first. So you shift tangent one over two, you'll get 0 0.464. Okay, if you want to think in terms of degrees, it's actually 26.6 degrees. So theta is equals to alpha because it falls in the positive first quadrant. So theta will be equal to 0 0.464. Okay, you all get this correct? Anyone got this wrong? Okay, uh, understand, uh, because you see, we've done quite a number of this already, and uh, the angle one, right? If you all use the, the longer method, that means you all will find all the possible region, can also, but you'll be just wasting a lot of time. Okay, and you cannot write all your answers, uh, only you have to leave the, the valid answers only. The one that's out of the region, make sure you all reject it, okay, if you all calculate for all four quadrants. Okay, let's go next one. 4A, find the first three non-zero terms in the expansion. 2 minus x squared over 4 to the power of 6 in ascending powers of x. Simplify each term. Okay, so we just need to do binomial expansion here. Use the formula 6C0 then 2 to the power of 6 plus 6c1, 2 to the power of 5 minus x squared over 4, 5 plus 6c2, 2 to the power of 4, negative x squared over 4 to the power of 4. You'll get 64 minus 48 x squared plus 15x to the power of 4. All right, try your best to always show the working so that when you all check back, you all will, can, can just calculate again. Otherwise, uh, you, when you all check back the time, okay, with the remainder time, you all might get confused also. So always write your working whenever you can. Okay, second part. Hence, find the term independent of x in the expansion, 2 minus x squared to the power, uh, x squared over 4 to the power 6, which was on the first one, then 3 minus 1 over x squared. Independent of x means x to the power of 0, means the terms that don't have x. Okay, so we write it down first. How would you um, expand this? Okay, they when they say hence, right, so confirm is used whatever you found in the first one already. So the first one, you only expand three terms, right? So 64 minus 48 x squared plus 15 x to the power of 4. Then let's go and expand the second bracket. 3 minus 1 over x squared. Okay, you can go and separate this working also. It's fine. Uh, this is just a, plus, uh, a minus b squared. So 9 minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, plus b squared. And what will you get? Go and cross multiply it. Independent of x, huh? don't need to waste your time. Go and find for every single value. You just need to see. This times this, no x. This times this, because x squared divided by x squared, no x. And then the third one. Okay, the third one. x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 4, no x. Okay, don't go and multiply every single term. You'll mess, you'll make it very messy and 
yeah, you'll waste a lot of time calculating it. So let's calculate the, the green color one first. 64 times 9 plus the red one, negative 48 times negative 6 plus 15 times 1, which is the purple one. Okay, so I just make it clear for y'all. This is the green one. This is the red one. And then this is the purple one. Add it all up together, you get 576 plus 288 plus 15. And you get your final answer, 879. Okay, doing great so far. Yeah, power, power. All right. Let's go to question five. When e to the power of y is plotted against x squared, a straight line graph passing through the points 2.24, 5, and 4.74, 10 is obtained. Find y in terms of x. Okay, the common mistake is you all treat this as x and y, uh, the, the, these points. You got to remember this one, Okay, these coordinates here follows this graph, which is when your e y e to the power of y against x squared. Okay, so this is e to the power of y against x squared. Okay, don't make the mistake of taking it as x and y because this is a very very common mistake. Okay, so we know that. It's a straight line graph. So y equals mx plus c, where your y is e to the power of y, your x is x squared. So how do we write it? e to the power of y equals to mx squared plus c. Right? Y uh, follows this formula. y equals mx plus c. Okay? So now what we want to do, we sub in the two points, 4.74, 10, and 2.24, 5. Remember again, uh, don't go make the common mistake of substitute or treating the 4.74, 10, and 2.245 as x and y. It is x squared and e to the power of y. So we fit into the formula, you will get 10 equals to 4.74m, plus c okay this will be your first equation your second equation will be 5 equals to 2.24 m plus c okay this will be your second equation okay we can do simultaneous equation with this okay let's take 2 minus 1 i will just use elimination if you want to use substitutions totally fine 5 equals to 2.5 m and you calculate it m equals to 2 all right so we found m ready can we find c right now you just need to sub m into okay, uh, m equals 2 into let's say equation 2 lah. okay sub into equation 2 you get 5 equals to 2.242 plus C, and C, you'll get 0 0.52. Okay, so now great, you have your M, you have your C. So E to the power of Y equals to 2X squared plus 0 0.52. Okay, they want it in terms of Y in terms of X, right? Y in terms of X, so how do we make e to the power of y to y, you inverse your exponential, you will get ln. Okay, inverse your exponential, you will get ln. So here will be uh, y equals to ln 2x squared plus 0 0.52. Okay, this will be your final answer. If you're unsure, you can just ln both sides because ln e will be equals to 1. Then you use the power rule, bring your y down. 
ओके राइट क्वेश्चन सिक्स ดิอะฮัฟเวเดอร์ควอชชั่นซิกส์เดอะดิอะแกรมโชว์สเซอร์เคิลเซนเตอร์โอเรเดียสทูเอเดอะพอยท์เอแอนดีไลออนเดอะ
set 3a square minus pi over 6a square. Okay, then. Okay, let's move on to question seven. Okay, this will be a permutation combination question. A committee of eight people is to be formed from five teachers, four doctors, and three police officers. Find the number of different committees that could be chosen if all four doctors are on the committee. Okay, all four doctors are in the committee. So we need to choose all the four, doc four doctors. We need to form a committee of eight people. So Let's draw this out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so all four doctors must be in. Then the rest can be from the five teachers and three police officers, right? So for the this one, let's count first. This will be 4C4. Four four. Okay, then the other side can be from five teachers and three police officers right okay so this part here can be chosen from eight person so the other four parts is eight c4 so our combination here four c4 times eight c4 you'll get 70. okay just gonna calculate it you'll get 70. all right Okay, second one, there are at least two teachers on the committee. Okay, there are two methods to do this. At least two teachers means what? Two teachers, three teachers, four teachers, five teachers. Okay, because that's the max amount of teachers. So you can go and count the different combination from for uh, two teachers, then the rest, three teachers, then the rest four teachers, then the rest, five teachers, then the rest. Or another way you can do is you take all your possible combination, okay, your total combination. Then you minus off if I choose zero and one teachers. Okay, I think last time Marcus got asked me this before. Okay, when, when do you minus on your combination? Uh, this is one of the example. Okay, uh, this one of the example. Okay, but you all got to read this very carefully uh, because this one, uh, it requires you all to think a bit and it's a bit tricky. So, you all see, uh, there are only, uh, let's see, there are, there are only five teachers, right? There are only five teachers. So, what we can do is you can take the total combination, that means all your possible combination, minus, okay, your combination, of zero and one teacher okay that means if i got zero teacher and seven other people or one teacher and eh, sorry zero teacher and eight other people then one teacher and seven other people okay understand let's calculate what is the total amount of combination first total combination will be from 12, I choose 8. Okay, this is when, when there's no criteria at all or no restrictions. 12 C8 will give you 495. Okay. You all see, uh, okay, you all see, right? Can I, now the question is, you need to find the combination for zero and one teacher. But zero teachers, if you choose zero teachers, right, is it possible to form a committee of eight people? That's the question. Okay, normally, normally can, but you see, uh, because not enough people, there's only four doctors and three police officers. Okay, who is not a teacher. Four doctors, three police officers, so that makes up seven people only. So minimum, minimum, right, for this arrangement of finding eight, eight people in this committee, you need a minimum of one teacher. Understand? 
So that means there's actually no such combination as with zero teachers. Minimum, minimum, you also need one teacher and then seven other people. Okay, so let's find the combination for one teacher and seven others. Okay, one teacher and seven others. We can draw it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is one. This is teacher. Then this is others. Okay, others. Your... Who's the other guy? Doctors and police officer. Okay, doctor and police officer. Okay, so how do we calculate this? Teacher will be from five teachers times seven C7, right? Because you only got seven other people and you fill up the entire, the rest of the spot. So five C1 times seven C7 will be equals to five. So your total combination when there are at least two teachers on the committee would be 495 minus 5, which is equal to 490. Okay, because zero teachers is not valid. Okay, there's no such combination. You need at least one te teacher in the committee of eight people. Okay, question B has nothing to do with the above. However, I think in the recent papers, because there's no, uh, you, you never use this formula, but this is part of your syllabus. Given that n permute 5 equals to 6 times n minus 1 permute 4, find the value of n. Okay, this formula is not given in your formula sheet. The one that's given in your, in your formula sheet is C, not P, okay, C, not P. Mm, okay, uh, just two days ago, you found out about this formula, okay. So I want, for those who are unaware, please memorize this formula. NPR is equals to N factorial over N minus R factorial. In fact, it's very, very similar with the, the combination. Uh, uh. The only thing that's missing is the bottom R factorial. Okay? Take note of this. Huh? The only, only difference difference from NCR is there's no R factorial in denominator. So if you ever forget, you go and refer, you'll go and refer back. Okay? You all see in your first one over here. Okay, this is C uh, over here. This is NCR, not NPR. The only thing that's different is here. NPR, okay, NPR will be equal to N factorial, N minus R factorial. Okay, so please take note of this equation. Okay, let's go back to that question. Oops. Okay, so the same way as how you all always solve. In fact, this one is easier right? because there's no R factorial. Uh, okay, so let's open write write the the equation down first. N factorial, n minus five factorial, equals to six. Then here will be n minus 1 factorial over n minus 1 minus 4 factorial. Okay, we want to eliminate all the n with factorials. So here we want to expand until n minus 1 factorial. So n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial. Why we stop at n minus 1 factorial? Because the right hand side also got n minus 1 factorial. Bottom here, n minus 5 factorial equals to 6 n minus 1 factorial over n minus 5 factorial. Make sure you all write this down. n minus 1 factorial can be cancelled from both sides. n minus 5 factorial can also be cancelled from both sides. 
and you'll be left with n equals to 6. Easy, huh? Yeah. It's much easier actually from the combination. But if you don't know the if you don't know the formula, then you can't solve this question really. All of you memorize uh, this one formula. Good, huh? Yeah, I, I saw Ethan's paper just yes, now. <laughs> you use a C, right? Eh? But if you use C, oh no, yeah. It'll be different. Yeah, because your you got will have one extra five at the bottom at the left hand side. You didn't know this existed. Hmm. Now you know. Hey, now you know. Okay, I don't think we came across this uh, in all the recent papers, the 2020 onwards. Um, no, no such formula, right? I mean, no such question on this. So that's why you have to keep practicing all the older ones also. Older ones have this kind of question. All right. Cool. Any question this time? Error? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Question eight. Okay, this roller coaster. The graph shows the curve y equals to a cos bx plus c for 0 to 2.8 for the x. The a, b, and c are constant and x is in radians. The curve meets the y-axis at 0, 3, and the x-axis at the point P at point R and point R 5 pi over 6, 0. The curve has a minimum at point Q. The period of A cos Bx is pi radian. Okay, so few important points that I would highlight. Number one, it's represented by this. Number two, curve meets at 0, 3. Uh, then meets at P at X axis, then at point R, 5 pi over 6, which is again intersect at the X axis. Okay, then you got here, they say period. Okay, period is equals to pi radian. So find what's A, B, and C first. Okay, immediately we can find what is B because period, if the period is pi means it's 180 degrees we just fit into the formula period equals to 360 degrees divided by b for cos okay you can get b equals to two that will be your first mark second mark okay so uh we want to find what else a and c Okay, so they gave us some coordinates like 0, 3, and 5 pi over 6, 0. So we can use that to sub it in the equation. So at 0, 3, okay, it will be what? 3 equals to A, 1 plus C. Okay, so you get 3 equals to A plus C. Okay, so this will be your first equation. Let's find another one at 5 pi over 6, 0. Okay, then you get 0 equals to A cos 5 pi over, okay, because you times 2, right? So 5 pi over 3 plus C. Okay, just type in the calculator, you get 1 over 2, so you get A over 2 plus C, 0. Okay, so I got these two equations here. Let's treat it as equation one and equation two. I'll do simultaneous equation. I'll just use uh, elimination. So one minus two, which will give you three equals to one over two A. And therefore, A is equals to six. I sub six. Okay, let's write it down here. Sub six. A equals to 6 into uh, either one of it. Lah. Let's put into 1. So 3 equals to 6 plus C. C will be equals to negative 3. 
Okay, next one. Find the coordinates of P. Okay, let's see. Where is P? P is at the x-axis. Okay, at the x-axis means your y is equals to zero. Okay, because it's an x-intercept. So let's sub in y equals to zero. You get zero equals to six cos two x minus three. You get cos two x equals to one over two. Okay, by right, go ahead and solve it using like your ASTC and all. You get this one is uh pi over three, but we only need to take the first time because the second time is r right. Okay, so you can you will find 2x equals to actually pi over 3 and and um 2 pi minus pi over 3, but we don't have to calculate the next one. You'll get 5 pi over 6 anyway. Okay, but if you go and calculate it, it's totally fine. You just need to reject it. Okay, then uh you'll get here x equals to pi over 6. Okay, they say coordinates of p, so make sure you all write it in the point form. Pi over 6. 0. Okay, pi over 6, 0. Next one, coordinates of Q. So over here, if you observe, what is Q actually? Q is the lowest point, right? Okay, it's the turning point of the cost graph. And the cost graph is pi radian right now okay so originally right where is your turning point originally is at 180 degrees right which is pi now it's 2x it becomes pi over 2 okay so that's the logic huh? you actually don't really need to calculate it uh, don't need to complicate it you just need to know that this q is at the turning point and for cos 2x, your turning point is at pi over 2. Okay, so here will be x equals to pi over 2. You want to calculate what's the y value for this? So y equals to 6 cos 2x, which is pi over 2, minus 3. And you get 6 times negative 1, minus 3 equals to negative 9. Therefore, it will be pi over 2, negative 9. Luis, this sound okay? Just now you told me that you don't know how to do this, is it? Okay, so you need to understand uh, the... Yeah, you, you all really need to understand like your trigo graph also. Trigo, graph, solving proving you see our uh, trigo just on this paper uh, itself 2 1 it already has graph asking you about graph it has already asked you about the solving one also okay just now in the previous question so you all need to grasp trigo very very well because 100 percent will come out on at least one question okay at least one question who knows later when you all look at the paper two also Okay, might have uh yeah might have more also there. Okay, let's go to question nine. Show that the equation of the curve y equals to x squared minus four x minus two can be written as y equals to x cubed plus a x squared plus b x plus eight, where a and b are integers. Hence, find the exact coordinates of the stationary points on the curve. Okay, so what do we want to find? So we want to find that it can be written in this form first. Okay, this is pretty easy. You just need to open it up. Then find the exact coordinates. Huh? So exact means don't go and calculate to the decimal point and all. Okay, so let's open it up first. Y equals to x squared minus 4, x minus 2. Okay, cross multiply it, you'll get x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. 
Let's differentiate it because we want to find dy over dx equals to zero for stationary point. So dy over dx will be equal to 3x squared minus 4x minus 4. Okay, where you will get dy over dx equals to zero. Okay, because stationary point, stationary point, and make sure you all show this, uh, that you all show that it's equal to zero. So you get 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals to zero. And then you see 3x plus 2, x minus 2 equals to zero. X will be negative 2 over 3, and X equals to 2. Okay, we want to find the points, right? So we need to find um, the Y coordinate also. So X equals to negative 2 over 3, and X equals to 2. Let's sub it to find Y. So just sub into one of the equation. Yeah, there's space here to write, but you're going to calculate it. You all should get y equals to 256 over 27 and for 2 you get 0 okay then write it in points uh. don't don't forget to write it like this so negative 2 over 3 256 over 27 don't go and write in decimal place or so because they want it in exact values okay so these are the two turning points two turning points of a cubic equation okay and if you see uh, this is a positive ax cube so it will be set face then smiley face okay set face then smiley face <coughs> okay this is a bit interesting okay this second one on the axis sketch the graph of y equals to modulus x squared minus 4 x minus 2 modulus stating the intercepts with the coordinate axis okay format question uh, for this one format question okay so you all see right what they want you to find is actually a cubic equation right but then you see x squared minus 4 times x minus 2 you can't really find where your roots is, right? So you need to actually find your roots first. So for you to, to find your roots, which is your, your x-intercept, okay, let's write here, x-intercept, what you need to find? You just rewrite the equation, y equals to x squared minus 4, x minus 2. Okay, you all got to remember in your cubic equation, there are two forms that you all learn x plus a x minus uh x minus a x minus b x minus c the second one is with a square okay if like let's say you got x minus a bracket square bracket x minus b that means you have one equal roots right okay one equal roots oops okay and what one equal roots means means at one point it will just touch the x-axis only and that's the case for here but you see this x squared minus 4, there's no such form. So we need to try to fit into one of those uh, or to simplify into one of those forms. So x squared minus 4 can actually be written as x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, because it's a squared minus b squared. And then you see over here, because there's 2 x minus 2 squared, I can multiply it together. So it'll be x plus 2, x minus 2 squared. Okay, so my roots will be x equals to negative 2 and x equals to 2. When x is equal to 2, this is where it is at the equal roots. Understand here so far? Okay, this is where the place are. It has equal roots. Equal roots is where it touches. Are. Okay, then the next part, we you have to show all your intercepts. Are. So these are x intercept x equals 2. Then the next one, let's find the y-intercept. Okay, y-intercept. Uh, you just need to sub your x is equal to 0. So y equals to negative 4, 
negative 2. So you will get 8. Okay, so this will be your y intercept. Okay, there's one more thing that you need to realize for this. Just now, right, in the first question, what did we actually find? We found the stationary point, right? And you all see, right, the stationary point that was found is negative 2 over 3, 2, 5, 6 over 27, and 2, 0. Okay, you need to use this point, actually. All right. So, you all see, right, the original equation first. Uh, I Normally, I would draw the original graph first before I modulus it. Okay, so let's just draw x squared minus 4 times x minus 2 first. It will be a sad face, then a smiley face, right? Because you're positive ax cubed. Okay, positive ax cubed. So, what will happen is you need to write down your important coordinates first. Negative 2, okay, negative 2 will be, and 2 will be your x-intercept. Then your y-intercept will be 8. Okay, y-intercept will be 8. All right. Then, you all see uh, over here, um, so sad face, then smiley face. Just now at the turning point, so there are two turning points. See the shape? Shape, uh, I always ask you all to write the S, S, I, M, right? So shape will be set, then smiley. Okay, which one will be at the equal root? So the equal root will be at the 2, x equals to 2 as our calculation. So over here will, will be where the, the graph touches it. Okay, where the graph touches and then go up again. So that's the other turning point. So you all see over here in the first question, we actually found 2, 0 here, which is one of the turning points. The other turning point, right, will be at negative 2 over 3, 2, 5, 6 over 27, which is this part here. Okay, I just connect. Huh? Understand the logic behind here? Okay, negative 2 over 3, 2, 5, 6 over 27 will be the first turning point, which is at the going up then down it okay the maximum point so it's around here lo. okay it's around here this negative 2 over 3 2 5 6 over 27 don't make it it's at the y in the set uh. okay in this case it's not uh. okay in this case it's not so if you are turn at the 8 there that means you're consider 8 as the maximum point, you will get minus one mark. Okay, you have to show that the the maximum point is at the second quadrant there. Okay, second quadrant in your graph. Okay, so let's plot it out. Okay, so we know that it will be a modulus, right? So it will be a set face and smiley face. So here, actually, this is your original graph, lah. So I just straight away draw in dotted lines, and go here, and turn, then. Wow. Okay, then we need to modulus here. So here will be going up like this. Four mark question, how you get the four marks? X intercept, both correct, negative two and two. Y intercept at eight. The maximum point shown is at negative two over three, two, five, six over 27. You don't have to, to write the points down, but you need to show that it's at the second quadrant. And then the shape. Okay, y'all copy this down first. Hold on, uh, I need to charge my laptop. Give me one 30 seconds. <coughs> yeah, my Okay, Ken, this question. Any issue? Any issue with this? Okay, question C. 
Find the possible values of the constant k for which modulus x squared minus 4 x minus 2 modulus equals to k has exactly, exactly four different solutions. Okay, so we have to look at the graph here. What I like to do, take a ruler, okay, draw a horizontal line, and then you see where exactly got four in the section. So you use a ruler. Okay, don't go and draw this line. Just use your ruler during exam. Move it up and down. So where does it intersect four roots? Okay, four times. So if we, from here, down here, don't have, then, okay, touch your x-axis. This is how many roots? Or this is how many solution? Two solution, right? Okay, then let's go up. Okay, beyond uh, y more than zero, what happens? Is it, how many solutions are there here? So there are four intersection, right? Uh, four intersections. So go, 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 go. So this, these are all the, the possible region. Okay, so this whole part here until, okay, over here, as it touches the maximum point, which is your turning point there, at 256 over 27, this is three solution. Right, because you see, one over here, one, two, three solutions only. So we want to find in between, right? Okay, in between the maximum and your x equals or uh, your y more than zero. Okay, so how do we consider the, the region? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll just show you all here and highlight it but don't, don't leave all of this in exam. Huh? Only this whole part here, okay, has four solutions, right? And it's in between. Please take note whether you want to include, okay, you want to include the, the, the maximum point or minimum point also, huh? okay? So answer would be in between zero to your maximum point, which is 256 over 27. Okay, two mark question. All right, let's move on. Question 10. Okay, question on vectors. The diagram shows a parallelogram OABC such that OA equals to A, OC equals to C. The point D lies on CB that CD to DB is 3 to 1. Okay, let's just write here first, 3 to 1. When extended, the lines AB and OD meet at the point E. It is given that OE is equals to HOD and BE equals to KAB, where H and K are constants. Find DE. Okay, find DE. Four mark question. Okay, so from for you to get from to, to DE, uh yeah, let's just find whatever information that, that we can have uh that we can find first. Okay, they say it's a parallelogram, so we know that OA and CB is the same, okay, because here is given to us uh, A, right? So we know that here is A also. We know that this part is 3 to 1, so we can say that this is 3 over 4A, this is 1 over 4A. What else can we find? OC and OB also is parallel to each other, so if OC equals to C, AB is also equal to C. Okay, so let's just write down whatever information that we, that we have first, lah. So this will be 3 over 4a, 1 over 4a. Okay, so let's just write it down. Cd, oops, Cd will be equals to 3 over 4a. Od equals to, okay, let's find what's Od. Uh. Od here, I can find, because I got Oe, is equal to HOD, right? And then they say I I want in terms of AC and H. That means we have to use something from here already. Right? This OE equals to HOD. 
So let's find what's OD first. So OD um, will be equals to, let's see, what can we get? OC plus CD. Okay, OC plus CD. Which will give you C plus 3 over 4A. All right, then OE. OE will become H O D. Okay, H O D. Therefore, H O D, H, let's feed it to the top one, C plus 3 over 4A. And then lastly, because we want to find DE, right? So let's find a formula that has OE inside also. Okay, so you see uh, actually OD plus DE will be OE, right? OD plus DE will be OE. That's how we can get a formula with DE inside. So DE, DE is actually equals to DO plus OE. Okay, this one... I think some of you, you all cannot see it. So you all just have to keep trying and see where's the path that you all can, can find. Okay, if you all cannot find, then just find whatever whatever the question gives you, right? You all just try to break it down parts by parts first. Okay, sometimes you may discover, you may not be able to see it immediately, but uh, yeah, sometimes in the middle only, you'll be able to find the answer. Okay, so this one will be negative c plus 3 over 4a plus h c plus 3 over 4a okay you do a new here you get four marks already all right because for the following questions you need to to summarize it in terms of c and a so i i'll just calculate it further huh? so i um group the a and the c together so we open up the bracket negative c negative 3 over 4a plus hc plus 3 over 4 ha okay we gather the the a together so 3 over 4 h minus 3 over 4 a plus h minus 1 c Right. So this is DE in terms of A, C, and H. A, C, and H. Okay, let's look at the second one. We want DE in terms of A, C, and K. Okay, A, C, and K. So let's find where we got K. Huh? So K is over here. You see K, right? They write a BE equals to KAB. So we want to somehow use this BE here to form DE. Okay? BE, uh, so DE, in terms of BE, we can go here. DB plus BE. Right? DB plus BE. Because BE, we know is KAB. And AB is equals to C. Okay? So I can put DB plus BE. So just let's just put it inside. DE equals to DB plus BE, which will give you 1 over 4A plus K times C. Okay, 1 over 4A times K times C because BE is actually KAB. KAB is also K. Uh, KC. Hence, find the value of H and K. Okay, how do we find H and K? In A, we found what is DE in terms of H, A and C. Question B, we find DE in terms of uh, A, C and K. So we just need to equate both the DEs together. You will get the, from the first question, 3 over 4 H minus 3 over 4 A plus H minus 1 C equals to 1 over 4 A plus 
KC. Okay, let's compare. Okay, let's put the A one first. A will be 3 over 4 H minus 3 over 4. So we compare the, the numbers beside. Equals to 1 over 4. Okay, can I solve for H here? Can. Multiply the whole thing by 4 first. 3 H minus 3 equals to 1. Okay, then you'll get H equals to 1 plus 3 divided by 4. So 4 over 3. Second one, let's compare C. Okay, let's compare C value. So what will you get here? Um, H minus 1 equals to K. We found what was H just now. So 4 over 3 minus 1 equals to K. And therefore, K will be equals to 1 over 3. Okay, four mark question. All right, all right, all right. Okay, very last one. Okay. Yeah. Anyone got any question, Nissan? Okay, all steady, yeah. Okay, let's move on to question 11. The line x plus 2y equals to 10 intersects two lines satisfying the equation modulus x plus y modulus equals to 2 at the points A and B. Okay, so this line intersects two lines. The two line is modulus x plus y. Okay, then it intersects at the point A and B. Show that the point C negative 520 lies on the perpendicular bisector of AB. Eight mark question. Wow. Okay, so quite a lengthy question. Break it down part by part. Okay, so they say the first statement, uh, for you to find AB, we have to understand the first sentence first. The line x plus 2y equals to 10 intersects two lines. Which is this? What two lines is this? that from the modulus x plus y equals to 2. Because modulus, if you open it up, the modulus, you get plus and minus, right? Okay, you get plus and minus. So you need to form two equations at the start first. First one, this line with x plus 2y equals to 10 will intersect with, let's take the positive modulus first. So x plus y equals to 2. This will be your first equation, your first pair, lah. Second one, so x plus 2y equals to 10, intersect with negative 2. Understand? Okay, because it's, technically it's like that. Uh, I, I just simply sketch first. Uh, AB probably uh, intersect with like the line like this and like this. Okay, I don't know how it looks like, but one is x plus y equals to negative 2, one is x plus y equals to 2. Okay, so then after that you will have uh, AB. Uh, sorry, uh, AB will be at the at the point here, the point of intersection. Okay, over here, AB. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So let's solve for this equation one, equation two. Let's call this equation three, equation four. Go and solve what is your equation for these two. You will get okay. Let's do one minus two. Okay, simultaneous equation using elimination. X can minus x. So y will be equals to eight. Sub into one of the equation, you will get x equals to negative six. Therefore, okay, let's just call this a la. Okay, I don't know which one is a, which one is b, ah, because they also never define it, and it doesn't really matter. So a equals to negative six eight. Okay, let's just consider a is equal to negative 6a. Second one, 
let's do 3 minus 4. Okay, 3 minus 4. You minus it off, you will get y equals to 10 minus minus 2, you get 12. Okay, 12. And then here, x will be equals to negative 14. Okay, so let's consider this as b value. Negative 14, 12. Okay, so we got A and B. Okay, if you if you are a bit more particular, you normally can put the, the left one as A. La. Okay, so if we want to swap it, let's just put it like this. La, okay, A, B, because negative 14 is smaller than negative 6. All right, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, so we want to find what's the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. For you to find perpendicular bisector, you need midpoint, you need gradient of the perpendicular bisector, then y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1. So let's find what is the midpoint AB first. Midpoint AB, which would be y2 minus y1 over x2, a. Eh. That's gradient. <laughs> x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Okay, you get negative 6. Negative 14. 2 divided by 2. Then 8 plus 12 divided by 2. And you get negative 10. 10. Okay, negative 10. 10. And then you get you want to find your gradient AB. So M AB, you'll get 12 minus 8, then negative 14 plus 6, you'll get negative 1 over 2. Okay, and then you want to find what is your perpendicular bisector gradient 2. Okay, because you just need times negative then 1 over the m. So now we have what we need for the perpendicular bisector. We have negative 10, 10, and then we have 2 over here. So let's fit into y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. Okay, m x minus x1. You'll get y equals to 2x plus 30. Very, very long question. Okay, so now we have this one. This is what? Equation of the perpendicular bisector, right? Equation of perpendicular bisector. What did they ask us to do? So more. They asked us to prove, okay, prove that C point C lies on this point. Okay, so this is a moment of truth uh, to see whether your perpendicular bisector is correct or not. So we sub in C, negative 5, 20. We want to prove that it's negative 5, 20, and it satisfies the equation. Uh, so we sub in one of it only. You can sub in your x, sub in your y, but you can just sub in x equals to negative 5 into y, this perpendicular bisector. Okay, you will get y equals to 2 times negative 5 plus 30. And then you will get 20. Okay, so satisfy the equation, right? Proven. 8 mark question. Okay, those who didn't get it right, just take a look for a bit. RFP 8 marks. Oh no. Yeah, this, if you get this wrong, your last four marks or so will be gone already. Uh, yeah, will be gone. Okay, any question here? Oh, okay, uh. okay, those who got it wrong, just try it again. <laughs> Only two small mistakes. Uh. Good, good. 
got the four marks wrong. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the last one. Okay, to be honest, I think I looked through some of your papers. The last one, I think not many of you got it right. Okay. Also because uh yeah, you need to sometimes you need to look from the from the previous question to get some clues in. Okay. Probably you all got it like half right. Okay, half right. Let's see. Okay, the point D also lies on this perpendicular bisector. M is the midpoint of AB. The distance CD is three times. Okay, three times the distance of CM. Find the possible coordinates of D. Right, find the possible coordinates of D. So you see, right? You read carefully, huh? The point D also lies on the perpendicular bisector. M is the midpoint of AB. Okay, so we, we find, we know what's M, right? Just now we found what's M already. Perpendicular bisector AB. Uh, yeah, we already have it, right? So let's just sketch it out. Uh, at least at least we can, can be clear. So let's say this is A and B. Okay, AB that we found just now. Do we need AB? No need. So let's not write it to, to distract. But we need to show what is M, okay? M is negative 10, 10, okay? Which is at the perpendicular bisector also, right? They say the distance CD is three times the distance of CM. Okay, do we have C? We found C also, right, from here, see? From the previous question, that's C also, negative 520. So let's just put over here, C is over here. Okay, let's just say negative 520 is over here. Right? Okay, this is not the, the most accurate. Uh, probably it's on top. Lah. Okay, something like this. But it doesn't matter. We just want to at least picture it so that we, we understand how to how to solve it. So we have M equals to negative 10 10 we have c equals to negative 520 we have d which we don't know what is it okay so we write it as x y look at the question huh? they say the distance cd is three times the distance of cm okay so distance means your length formula so we can use this distance CD is equals to three times the distance of CM. What is the formula of length or distance? Square root x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square. Okay, so we fit in the formula. Let's fit CD inside first. It will be negative 5. Uh, or you can write it. Okay, maybe I prefer writing like this. X minus, hold on. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's just write that. Like, negative 5, negative X square plus 20 minus Y square. Okay. Equals to 3. CM is what? CM would be minus 10 plus 5 square plus 20 minus 10 square. Over here, you get 1, 2, 5. Okay, let's, let's try to simplify this whole thing. Square both sides. Okay, square both sides so that we can get rid of the square root. So you get negative 5 negative x square plus 20 minus y square equals to Make sure you square your 3 also, so you become 9 times 1, 2, 5. Okay. Then over here, um, okay, let's just count the over here first. Okay, so we can consider this as our first equation, but then we can't do much with it, right? Because we got x and y. So you need another equation, right? When you've got two unknowns, means you need two equations, unless you can compare with something else. All right? So 
read the question properly, uh, they say the point D also lies on this perpendicular bisector. Okay, the point D is also on the perpendicular bisector. So we know that this, um, this equation that we find, right, is related to the perpendicular bisector because it intersects with the perpendicular bisector. D is on, to, on bisector. Ma. So what did we find for perpendicular bisector just now? Y equals to 2x plus 30, right? Y equals 2x plus 30. So let's just write that down first. Perpendicular bisector, which we have found just now in the previous question, is y equals 2x plus 30. Okay, right now we have two equations. Okay, we have two equations, which is what we found from the distance one and what we found from the previous question. Can we equate both of it together? Can, right? Because they intersect with each other, D is on perpendicular bisector. All right, so let's just sub in equation two into one. And then you go and, when you all find the solution, okay, it's quite lengthy, this, this working, only four marks somehow. Okay, then 20, let's sub it in. Huh? So I sub the Y in, so it will be minus two X minus 30 square equals to one, one, two, five. Okay, so let's go and solve it. Solve this entire thing. 25 plus 10x plus x square plus um okay, let's simplify the inside one minus 10 minus 2x square equals to 1125 and 25 plus 10x plus x square then plus 4x square plus 40x plus 100 equals to 1125. Simplify it, you'll get 5x square plus 50x plus 125 equals to 1125. Move it all to the left hand side, plus 50x uh, minus 1000 equals to zero. Divide the whole thing by five, x squared plus 10x minus 200 equals to zero x plus 20 x minus 10 equals to zero you get x equals negative 20 and x equals to 10 okay so there are two we found the two coordinates of x let's sub x into a equation 2 okay because y equals to 2x plus 30 so if x equals to let's say 10 design x equals to negative 20 you will get y equals to 2 times 10 plus 30 which will get 50 and design y equals to 2 times negative 20 plus 30 you will get negative 10 okay so you get 10, 50, and negative 20, negative 10. Oh, yeah, it's a four marks working with, it's a four marks question with nine marks working. Very, very long. Crazy, man. Okay, but the mark scheme somehow, uh, the I, I, according to the mark scheme, um, Somehow only the final answer gives you the two marks and two marks. Yeah, so I'm not so sure how they, they mark the question actually. Okay, there's no working that's shown in the mark scheme also. So your the yeah the, the working actually I, I figure it out. But as long I, I don't know if there's other methods, maybe some of you might might think of another better method. I'm not so sure. But this is a method that I, I thought about that and then you can get the get the answer from yeah, you can get the answer from the mark scheme. Okay, so they, they just wrote 10, 50 and 20, negative 10. That will be your final answer. Two marks, two marks. Okay. Ken? All right. 
this this last one is a bit tricky. Uh, maybe they 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 put it inside, uh, but they don't give many marks. But they know that that many people will get it wrong, lah. Okay, I I'm guessing that's the case. All right, congratulations, and I'll see y'all in the next paper.